Hi, I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building, and today on The Build Show, we are at our BlackBerry 2 rental project, and we are watering our zip sheathing. Let's go inside and I'll talk about why. So when we talk about our water barrier and our air barrier, we talk about zip sheathing a lot of times on our walls. And one of the things that we constantly get asked, well, what about all those nail heads that are not on a seam that you're not gonna treat, the ones that are in a field? So what we've done here today is we've taken our blower door, our Retrotech blower door and the manometer. We've attached them to this zip system sheathing box that we assembled and set it up on the sawhorses. And then we've cut it to fit around a full stud bay and then into the next two stud bays. So we have two studs running through this box. And the reason we picked this spot is because the framers had two nails on the stud that's closest to me here that missed. One that completely missed the stud and one that kind of nicked the stud. And we thought what better way to prove that the system isn't gonna leak air or water than to hook a fan to it, depressurize this box, and set up that garden hose outside, see if we can't make these nail heads leak. Now, we ran this door with the manometer inside the box. Thankfully, I'm able to run the manometer with my uh, cell phone through Wi-Fi Connect uh, for 45 minutes. 45 minutes of negative 150 pascals of pressure on this little box. We were getting some air leakage around it, you know, where our port comes in here. This is just a fiber cable that's you know, sheathing the three together, we were getting some leakage through there. So we know we had some interstitial leakage around the box, uh, but 45 minutes at negative 150 pascals. No water through those two nail heads, no water through the seam that's on the other stud. We really feel like this performed well. We're not seeing any visual water inside. We're not seeing any visual water lower in the wall. So we know that between the uh, poly iso and the zip sheathing we're not getting any leakage there because it goes down and connects to the plate and it's taped at the bottom it have to show up someplace in here if it were leaking and then we also took our moisture meter and we tested before and after on the studs right up against the sheathing and we're not getting any different reading we're still at 12 and a half or 12.1 percent moisture so i think that this reiterates the Water has to have a pathway and a pressure to drive it someplace, but it doesn't mean that you have to worry about something uh, if it doesn't have a pathway. So we're gonna call that pathway negated when you leave the fastener in place. Uh, so that's the other thing that, that we're trying to take away from this. People say, well, I poke a, a thousand nail holes in it. Well, it's not a hole if the nail's still in the hole. It's a space that is now filled with a nail rather than a void. And so if I were to drive those fasteners back out now, then I bet we could get this thing to leak. But that's unrealistic because we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna back drive any fasteners and not treat them. So I think that this box is pretty darn interesting from a building science perspective. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Till next time, thanks for watching The Build Show.